All right, so let's look at a new feature in MA3 version 1.5, the DMX curve. Very exciting that this is in. Um, a pretty standard feature to pretty much all like theatrical based users and pretty important um, in your show. Let's take a look. All right, so for this example, I've patched one dimmer. I know, I know, we're going big. Um, and what we're going to do is we want to adjust the dimmer curve of this dimmer. So we're going to go to the DMX curves. All right. So this is a new section here. You will not see this in a version uh, 1.4 or anything before 1.5. And you can see here that we already have our DMX curve one defined. This is a min max uh, curve. It's already set for us. It is linear. That means as you, you know, move your encoder up, it will go up this line nice and straight, uh, providing a smooth transition. This is typically uh, what you would want for like a standard, um, uh, you know, like a mover or something um, for intensity, but you might want to change how this works, you know, for a variety of reasons. Um, maybe you have a fixture that like, um, in order for it to come on, it needs to be like higher at first and then it needs to fit up. So you want it to quickly go up to it, like, um, a hundred, you know, 20 or something and then go, you know, kind of linear up, whatever. But we're going to look at how to make a new DMX curve and you can apply these to any parameter you want. So we're going to insert new DMX curve. It's going to make a new min max curve. Uh, you'll see multiple options here. Switch is essentially like a light switch. It's either on or off. Um, this is helpful like for um, power supplies or something, um, uh, you know, anything like that, where you need to like any value over, you know, zero, just on 100%. Custom. This is what we want. All right. So we have now have our new custom DMX curve, and we're going to go and add a point. So we're going to choose the add tool here. You can see it's yellow and selected. We're going to add a point here. Boom. You can see I've just added a second DMX curve point. And now let's say um, I want to add another point right here or here. All right, so what you can see is we've done a curve where it's kind of more of a slow linear transition and then right at the 220 mark, it just shoots right up. Now, if I wanted to delete one of these, I could just hit the uh, minus key here, go over it, boom, now it's deleted, but I wanna add one back in, so let's go back there. Uh, let's say I wanna move it, I'll select my move tool, I can just like move that there. And if I wanted to make these transitions a little smoother so it's not just like harsh, I could select my points tool and I can like kind of sculpt it out just a little more and that kind of makes it all just a little bit more interesting to look at and also just a little bit more subtle. You can see it's defined all of these different DMX points. You can add, uh, you can change these so like if I wanted to make this to 10 or something, I could do that. You can see it moves my point there I can move down to like 50. You can see it changes it there, but let's go back to 210. All right, and I'm gonna name this test. All right, so now let's say we want to apply this to our one dimmer fixture here. We're gonna to go to the parameter list. You can see this here, it's very, very exciting. Uh, and we're gonna go, we're gonna find our dimmer one right here. And all the way over here, you can see we have the DMX curve column. All right, so you can see your, you know, your standard ones, the default, and I'm gonna select my test one here. Okay, and now let's close out save and exit. All right, you can see I have my one fixture here. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to actually, before I do this, I'm going to open my fixture sheet so you can see it here. All right, so remember, this was a fairly slow. You can see we're kind of we're bringing it up, right, slowly. And now when we hit at the very end here, it's going to like shoot up. There you go. You see that? You can see how it starts out slower. And then as we reach the end, it goes much faster because the DMX curve adjusts that. We actually, if we wanted to compare this, we could go back into patch parameter list and we could just stick DMX curve one on it. And now we can see that it does that all the way through and it's a linear transition. So this is really, really helpful. Uh, you can see you have a nice linear transition there, or you can create your own custom ones. You can use this all the time. Theatrical users will use this all the time with set practicals, um, anything out of the ordinary, um, or if you just wanted a different demo curve. So play around with it, really, really helpful. Apply it to different parameters, you know, 
uh, play around with how this you know can be applied. Super, super fun, super helpful.